greet your sister, and remember, be nice. Yes, Daddy, darling. Why him? Jake? Yes, scraping the bottom of the barrel, as usual. Maybe he's a nice guy. Maybe Sky picked a decent guy for a change. What have you got against him? Better question. What are you doing defending Tad's baby brother? I doubt your daughter's date would like to be known as Tad's baby brother. What a shame. I'm sure he feels he's earned an identity of his own. Liza Colby, champion of the downtrodden. To you, Liza Chandler. Really nice, you know? Not having to work. Mateo. Yeah, how's your mother? Oh, uh, she's uh, doing fine, thanks. Good, I'm glad to hear. So did you know that, um, Sky was bringing... <laughs> nope, I knew she had a date. That's it. Come on, Jake's okay. Nobody's okay in the eyes of a father, except for you. Right, Dad? The Sky's track record? Frankly, I'm delighted that he's of this species. <laughs> he seems to be a nice enough guy. I better go say hello to Daddy before Haley totally assassinates my character. I can tell she's talking about me. Excuse me. So, you and Sky? Why not? N no, I'm. I'm just surprised. Hmm. Well, I. I haven't given her an engagement ring or asked her to be the mother of my children. Well, no, of course not. It's, it's a big world out there, right? No, no, that's no joke. And you've moved on. So have I. Oh, I wonder how many more daughters of Adams he's invited. <laughs> Mother? Oh, Liza, my angel. I'm home. Oh, hello, Adam. Winifred, could you get me a vodka on the rocks, darling, and take my luggage upstairs when you have a chance? There's a dear. You're in Las Vegas. Oh, I was. And we came this close to nabbing that top-heavy hussy who ripped me off, but she got away again. Darling, are you, uh, who I think you are? <laughs> Jake Martin. Really? Mm. <laughs> well, well, well. Mother? Get rid of her. Yeah. Haven't you blossomed into a luscious young man? <laughs> Mother? Uh, it's not very nice to see you, too. You uh, too, darling. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. Bye. Ooh, I noticed him first at your wedding, darling. Which, by the way, I witnessed from the yard. Forget it, Mother. Forget what? Liza, you're not thinking of staking a claim there, are you, darling? And you, a new bride. Fair warning, don't get on my nerves. I'm starving, darling. Mother, you just can't crash a private family dinner. I am family, and I'm absolutely ravenous. Couldn't eat on the plane. Turbulence. I don't care about turbulence or the insensitive remarks. If you continue like this, you won't even have a place to stay. Day. Do you hear me? My, my, we really are on edge. Oh, thank you, Winifred. You're a godsend. You're welcome. <laughs> all right, shape up or ship out. How nautical of you, darling. Oh, all right. All right, I promise. To behave myself, word of honor. But I know what's wrong. Nothing is wrong. Adam hasn't succumbed to your wifely charms yet, has he, my darling? Dinner is served. My, my mother's still in the powder room. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chandler, uh, Mr. Chandler, Mr. Shire is here to see you. He came in the back way. Uh, thank you, Winifred Delville. What's up? Sorry to delay your dinner, but I looked into Palmer Cortland's purchase of Occidental Foods. He wasn't bluffing. Oh, damn. Mr. Cortland's won this round. Well, he'll regret it. Uh, I really can't talk about it right now, Barry. Uh, Liza and I are hosting a family gathering. Family gathering? Barry, darling. Ooh, what a marvelous surprise. Mm. You'll dine with us, of course. No, he won't dine with us, of course. The only reason you're dining with us is because Mateo had to back out. 
Uh, bon appetit, darling. Well, bye, darling. <laughs> oh, that woman is incorrigible. Oh, she sees the whole world through a haze of sexual innuendo. I, I set her on a wild goose chase out of Las Vegas. I couldn't stand her. I had to hang her around upstairs looking for signs of conjugal bliss in our bedrooms. I hope she didn't find anything. Conjugal bliss? <laughs> Not in this marriage. No, never will be. If you can keep your wits about you. My wits are perfectly intact. Thank you. Your wife's a beautiful woman, Adam. If and when you choose to get rid of her, it'll be infinitely easier if the marriage remains unconsummated. Don't worry, Barry. Good night. I'll, I'll, I'll show you out. Get on, sweetheart. Mm, very shy I was just here, and he warned Adam to stay away from you, specifically out of your bed. That weasel? Yes, he said it would be infinitely easier to get rid of you if this marriage remains unconsummated. Well, that's insulting. Darling, get over being insulted and get busy. Start whispering sweet naughties in your husband's ear. Oh, Mother, please. We're having dinner. Darling, you can do this. As that uh, most desirable Barry Shire said, you are a beautiful woman, and a beautiful woman can always get what she wants from a man. Okay? Ooh. <laughs> What's this? Well, isn't it part of being a newlywed that a wife gets to kiss her husband anytime she wants? Hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just couldn't resist. <laughs> you know, your father is a dangerously attractive man. <laughs> uh, I have to go. I have to leave now. I'm sorry. I... Things are getting interesting. I have to go check in on holidays. Yeah, I would think Ma okay. Mateo would have, have come back, or at least called. Well, I thought so, too, but... Haley, tell me if I'm wrong. Did you blow off a six-figure income as CEO of Enchantment to spend a little more quality time with your fiancé? Is this true? Mm -hmm. Now, you, you, you two are working your, your brains out down there. You've got circles under your eyes. You're going to drop from exhaustion. Thank you for the vote of confidence. Well, someone has to look out for you. Don't be silly. I'm your daughter. Thank you for dinner. Yeah. Good night. Good night, Liza. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Well, Jake and I have to leave, too. What? So soon? Well, it's late. No, 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 no. Have some coffee. Excuse me. I think I'll just go over there and help myself. <laughs> uh, come on, young man. Sit down. Full day tomorrow, Daddy. Sorry. Eliza? Oh, thank you for dining with us, um, Jake. Pleasure to see you again. Oh, pleasure is all mine. Well, it's still too early to break up the party. Good night, Daddy. All right. My compliments to the chef. That was uh, delicious. Yes. Careful driving home. My daughter's precious cargo. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bye. Well, ah, what a lovely evening. Drink your brandy, Mother. Marion? Before you assault me with rude questions about how long I plan to take advantage of your hospitality, Adam, let me reassure you that as soon as I make my first sale, I'm going to get an apartment of my own. And since I've got several live ones on tap, that could be one to two weeks. Now, can you handle that, darling? I seriously doubt it. Could you tell Winifred to serve me coffee in my study? Oh, no, no, Adam. You can't have drinks in that gloomy room. Darling, pour me brandy. You work too hard, darling. You work far too hard. I mean, one of the joys of marriage is the party aftermath. You know, dishing the guests, reviewing uh, who said what to whom. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of spoiling that for the two of you. So, I will leave you to your fun. Mm, go, girl. Ah, nighty night, darling. just sort of slips off with the barest of efforts. Mmm. Smells like heaven. Mmm. Want some? No, no. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. In a bit. I 
have a very interesting story. <laughs> they were given to me by this incredibly handsome Florentine Renaissance art professor at my college. We went to the Metropolitan Museum of Art to see these rare Donatello frescoes. Oh, I don't think we, we ever got to see those frescoes. You know, Ernesto had a very interesting way of liking to do in public what most people like to do in private. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, we could have gotten arrested. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> You're reading a magazine. a great idea. Bye-bye.